Hello everybody, it's Blockaduck, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Sodium for Minecraft 1.19.3. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the Fabric installation page, because you have to download Fabric before you can download Sodium. So anyways, that's going to be the first link in the video description. Sodium link will be the second link. So once you're here, you want to click on where it says Download Universal Jar, and that's going to go ahead and download Fabric. So now that you're here for Fabric, it's going to go ahead and take a second, but it will download the Fabric installer. So now that the installer is downloaded, we can click on this little open button right here. And that's going to go ahead and launch the Fabric installer. There we go. So as you can see, right now it's going to say 1.19.3. So just make sure that 1.19.3 is selected and click on the install button. And it'll take a few seconds to download and then it'll say that it is successfully installed so we can click OK and close out of this so there are two more things that we have to download the first thing we have to download is the fabric API mod so as you can see I am on this web page right here now this is going to be the third link in the video description so if you scroll down here and you want to select the one that says 1.19.3 with the R next to it so you want to click on that one and then you want to click on where it says download file and it's going to go ahead and count down from five seconds and then it's going to go ahead and download Fabric API. So now that Fabric API is downloaded, you want to go ahead and start to download Sodium. Now to download Sodium, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and under the recent file section, you want to select the one that says Sodium 0.4.7 and you want to click on this download file button here in orange. This is going to go ahead and download Sodium. So once again, just like Fabric API, it is going to count down from um, five seconds and so as you can see sodium is now downloading so while sodium is downloading what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the search bar of our computer and we're going to type in percentage app data percentage and then we're going to click on the file folder that pops up right here this is going to take us off to our dot micro folder which you should see right at the top so you can just click on that and then you want to scroll down until you find the mods folder. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, you can just create a new folder, same as you would on any other um, section of your files. Just name it mods, all lowercase. And then you want to just double click on that. And we're going to drag and drop the Sodium and the Fabric API into our mods folder right here. So we need to open up the downloads folder first so you can minimize all that. And then you want to click on where it says show in folder. And then it's going to open up our downloads folder so now we can bring our mods folder back up here and it does look like we're gonna have to move a few things around but um now what you want to do is just select the fabric api and the sodium and then we're just going to drag and drop those into the mods folder and i already have fabric api in the mods folder so i'll just replace it with the one we just downloaded so there we go and now as you can see fabric and sodium are both in our mods folder and so you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder and the downloads folder and then you can actually even close out of google chrome as well and now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher so here you are in the minecraft launcher so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and Make sure that it says Fabric Loader 1.19.3 at the bottom left corner. And once it does, you can click on the play button and then Minecraft is going to launch for us. So here we go. As you can see, we are now in Minecraft Java Edition. Now for Sodium, if you go ahead and click on the options, you'll notice that things look a little bit different. Whereas if you click on video settings, as you can see, the menu is completely changed and updated. So that's pretty much all you have to do in order to download and install Sodium. I hope that this video was helpful for you. And um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.